Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will tell you how to use a free and open source software called as Audacity to create a podcast. Audacity can be downloaded from audacityteam.org. I am giving the link in the description. You can download and install it and it's a great piece of software that can help you create podcasts. So let's start. So when you start Audacity this is the interface that you are going to see. I am currently using the latest version of Audacity in, in September 2020. This version is 2.4.2. There can be many ways of creating a podcast. Um, one possibility could be that you can actually start recording your podcast in Audacity itself, something that I'm just going to demonstrate. But what you can also do is to record your podcast on your mobile phone or you could record your podcast somewhere else and you can actually bring those clips inside Audacity and piece them up all together and mix them and create a single recording for the podcast. In this tutorial, however, I will show you how to record the podcast right here, edit it, clean it and then mix it into a single podcast file. So let's start with a sample podcast recording. Now the way you record in Audacity is just simply come here and press this red button. A new track is created and your voice is then recorded on that particular track. It is recommended that before you start recording, you check the level of your microphone. And I'm currently actually doing that. So you have to make sure that the volume of the mic is such that the recording is not actually hitting the edge. So you can just fiddle with this slider bar. This is the recording volume and this will ensure that your recording is not having you know very loud uh, click etc. So this is one thing that you have to look out for. The second thing is that you have to choose your microphone. So if you have more than one microphone, say for example if you're using a laptop you'll find that you can have an internal microphone and you can have an external microphone. So you can choose any microphone that is connected to your device. Next, you can choose whether you want to record mono or in stereo. So I'm just choosing mono in this example. And then you can change some other parameters here. So usually this is really not required. So we are just about ready to record our podcast. So let me start recording by just simply coming here and clicking the record button. You can also do so by pressing R. Hello and welcome to the Ring of Light, the show that brings you a new story to light up your day. Today's story is called The Happy Fish. One day, a Zen master and his friend were walking by a river. Look at the fish swimming about, said the master. They are really enjoying themselves, aren't they? Hey, you are not a fish, replied his friend. So you can't truly know that they are enjoying themselves. Not to be outwitted, the master replied, and you, my friend, are not me. So how do you know that I do not know that the fish are enjoying themselves? Hmm, interesting. That's all for today. We will see you tomorrow in the next episode with a new story. Till then, keep smiling and have a great day. Bye-bye. So once you're finished recording, you can just simply come here and press stop. You can click this button to go to the start of the recording. You would have noticed that I purposefully did not speak for a few seconds. And the reason was that this is a best practice such that you can actually record any background noise that is in your room. Many times you have fans, you have laptop fans, you have some kind of background noise going on. And if you leave a few seconds of that recording without speaking anything you are actually recording background noise which can actually be used to reduce the noise let's hear this recording i can come to the beginning and press play so the head moves hello and welcome to the ring of light the show that brings you a new story to light up your day today's story is called the happy fish one day a zen master and his friend we are walking by a river. So now that we have recorded our podcast, we need to do two steps to complete the production. 
The first of these steps is that we need to examine our recording and remove any background noise that might have crept in. Also remove from the recording any unwanted noise like crackles or lip smacking or click and most importantly breathing. So if I could just demonstrate this. This is the portion where we did not speak in the beginning and as you can see there is, there is some noise here that needs to be actually removed. But if we go and pick up the zoom tool and just come here, let us say for example and examine this gap between the two words by enlarging it, you will see that this is a breath. So if I can just select it, this is how you know breathing manifests itself inside recording. And this also seems to be a place where we have very loud breathing. So as you're talking, it is difficult for you to control your breathing unless and until you are trained to do so. And many times such kind of sounds creep in. So what we need to do is to remove all this. So there are two ways of doing it. Um, you know, one is you can actually just simply come here and manually delete it by selecting that particular piece and just simply going ahead and cutting it. The second option could possibly be that you could select that particular portion, come to edit, then go to remove special and then just simply go ahead and silence that audio. So as you can see that bit has gone now, I'm undoing it. But then if you have a longer recording then this would be a very tedious process because you'd have to examine this right from the beginning to the end. So let us just try to attempt both of these activities. One is background noise reduction and the second is at least have a quick way of uh, removing the breathing noises. So let me just make a copy of this track. I have just clicked on select or double click here to select the entire track and then just simply go ahead and press Control D. So that makes a duplicate copy of this track and the reason why I'm duplicating it is just to show you the difference between the two. So here you can see some breathing, here you can see some breathing, you can see some breathing here as well and here as well. There is a little bit of background noise here. Let us first see now how we can remove background noise. So what we'll do is we'll just select uh, this area which was the area of silence where we did not speak to collect background noise and then we will go to effect and then choose noise reduction and we will just simply go ahead and click on get noise profile. So when we do this, this dialog is going to go away. So what has happened is that Audacity has analyzed this little piece and collected all information that it would consider as noise. So now what we need to do is to select the entire track and then go to effects, choose noise reduction and because we have already collected the noise profile, what we are going to do is just simply go ahead and press OK. We can alter these if we want you know, noise reduction to increase or decrease but we are going to go with the defaults at this particular point in time. So as we move forward and press OK, um, this track has been cleaned as you can see visually of most of his blemishes and not only this part but those frequencies have been subtracted from the entire recording. So at many places where you could actually see a little bit of noise, that noise has actually gone. Now let us just try to use the same trick to remove breathing. Now this is not a perfect way to do this, there are many other better ways to do this but if you are in a hurry and if you wanted to clean up things quickly, one of the possibilities could be that you could try to you know find out the loudest breath that you had and say for example if I could come here and then just simply um, try to see if this is a breath which I am sure it is. So that's a loud breath. So what I'm doing is I'm highlighting this then I just simply go to effect and noise reduction and then get noise profile and then I'm going to select this entire track as I did before and then we will go back again after selecting the entire track to effects and noise reduction and then just simply go ahead and press OK. So when we do this the breaths have actually been reduced 
or they have gone almost at every single place but what has happened is that those frequencies have also been subtracted from the other parts of the vocal recording so if you are okay with it that's fine you just have to you know kind of listen to the track so let's try to do that this is our original track hello and welcome to the ring of light now i'm just going to mute this track and unmute this track and play from the beginning to see what is the difference hello and welcome to the ring of light the show that brings you a new story to light up your day today's story is called the happy fish the breaths have actually gone but this is not the best way to do it uh, but this is a quick way to do it and if this works for you great um if you just zoom in here you will see that some part of that breath is still here so if i can just select it and play it so that's quite okay because you know many times when everything is perfectly clean it doesn't also sound natural so but if you wanted to remove this you can just simply come here and go to remove special and silence this particular audio so any uh, you know little bits of blemishes that have uh, you know remained can actually be dealt with like this then we have a little problem at the end let's see what this is so it's like a click so we can do the exact same treatment because now it has been localized to very few places so we have more or less cleaned our recording and as you can see if you i unmute this you can see that many places where there was some disturbance in between words are actually now clean the only place that i can see something is this one so let me see what this is and then we'll try to deal with it so this is like a, a little click or something so what you can do is again go and insert a silence but if this was happening at a lot of places you can actually automatically also try to do that using the click removal tool and see if it works for you so you can just click here and then just simply come and press okay so this could be one of the possibilities um if you wanted to do this for the entire track you will have to select the entire track and then come to effects and then go to the click removal tool and then just simply go ahead and press okay you can alter these parameters to you know kind of so something has gone from here but again if some minor treatment is needed then you can just simply select it and just insert silence or delete it so remove special and silence audio so what we have done here is to remove all the background noise if it is acceptable uh, remember i have just mentioned that with reference to removing of breath uh, using noise reduction may not be the best method but nevertheless it can be a quick method but you have to be a little careful in what you are doing and always try to compare your recording with the original recording to see whether you know the the result is acceptable or we can examine the recording for some other issues one of the issues that i see here clearly is that there are many places where the recording has reached the edge so that's not a very good thing so what we can do is to come to effects and then after selecting this track that is come and choose normalize now what normalize does is that it sets the peak amplitude to a place where you want it to be so if the edge was zero which it is what we are saying is that we want this peak amplitude to be a little bit before the edge it, we don't want it to touch the edge so one possibility could be minus 1 db and we can just go ahead and press okay so you will see that uh, the recording has been you know cleared from um, the edges and that's a good thing and i'm going to play it from the beginning hello and welcome to the ring of light the show that brings you a new story to light up your day today and this is the original 
Hello and welcome to the Ring of Light, the show that brings you... So both of them are sounding quite identical, almost nearly identical, and that's okay. Um, one other thing that sometimes people like to do is to add a little bit of bass and treble to this recording. Um, you have to be a little careful doing this, such that you don't add too much. So what we can do is we can choose effects and then come to filter curve and then click on manage and then simply go to factory presets and come here and choose bass boost. So by default it is like about 9 decibels boost. So let us just bring it down to say 3 decibels. So we are going to give a bass boost of about 3 decibels and then we can just simply press OK. So the recording has received a bass boost of uh, uh, 3 decibels. So the lower frequencies have been increased by uh, kind of 3 decibels. What we can also do is to revisit filter curve and choose manage factory presets and then also give a treble boost. So I'm going to catch it from this handle and because we gave a bass boost of 3 decibels we are also giving um, you know a treble boost of 3 about 3 decibels and as you can see these are high frequencies so we will just simply press OK and you can see the effect here so as you can see you know that treble boost has again brought some vocals to touch the edge so we can again go back and normalize if we wanted to so we'll just say okay so you know this is how you can um hello and welcome to the ring of light the show that brings you a new story to light up your day today's story is called the happy fish so you can keep working on um, this particular recording till such time that you find that the recording is perfectly acceptable. So you know this is like a, a little hit and trial kind of a thing. We can just simply uh, experiment and work till such point that we feel that the recording is perfect. Hello and welcome to the Ring of Light, the show that brings you a new story it is not necessary though that you need to do these things. Um, you don't need to, you know, sort of uh, add bass and treble every time. If your recording was good, you don't need to do anything. You may just be happy removing, you know, any breaths or unwanted noises and go ahead with your recording. So I think uh, that's very good advice that before you record, rather than keep fixing your recording, set your mic, get good equipment, try to record uh, a piece that is uh, already perfect or close to perfect. So once we are done with the recording, we will now bring in some music to make the podcast a little more engaging and entertaining. Let me now get rid of my original track, which I have already cleaned up here. This was just for comparison. So I now have my cleaned up track here. These are the vocals and now I'm going to go ahead and bring in some music. So I'll just drop it here. So as you can see the music track is much bigger than the, the vocals. So we'll deal with that in a second. Let us just uh, you know shave off some part of this track that we are definitely not going to need and maybe a little more. So I've just deliberately kept the uh, the track a little bit longer than my vocals for a small reason, which I'll explain in a second. Now having done that, so let me just fit the project to the timeline. Now here we have our vocals and here we have our music. Now let's just simply play it. Hello and welcome to the Ring of Light, the show that brings you a new so one immediate problem that we can see is that as I start speaking, the music is also playing simultaneously and my words are getting drowned in this loud music.
If the music is too loud, you can select the entire track and maybe also go to effects and normalize. And maybe we can, you know, kind of make the peak amplitude to uh, minus three decibels, which will bring it away from the edges and maybe, you know, make it a little less loud. So we can just go ahead and press OK. So this music track has now become a little less loud, but this doesn't really solve our problem because as we play, hello and welcome to the ring of it continues to drown the voice in the loud music. So what we need to do is we need to find some natural points where we can, you know, kind of split this recording. So if I can just mute this and then just move ahead and try to see. Hello and welcome to the Ring of Light, the show that brings you a new story to light up your day. Today's story is called The Happy Fish. So this is one candidate point where I can make a split and I'll very shortly explain why we need a split. So I will just come here and my, I have my selection tool here and I'll just come and click on this particular part of the recording and I can go to edit and then go to clip boundaries and then just press split. So when I do this, um, this piece and this piece have split and the reason why I have done it is that I can pick up my time shift tool and then just simply move this. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a gap uh, wherein the music can actually be a little more louder and it would naturally act as a section break between two points, a point where I introduce my show and a point from where I start telling the story. So I can move it and have some music come through between these two sections. I can adjust it freely. We can also go ahead and try to see uh, that point where we finish the uh, recording and we are just simply saying bye. So that is this particular point. I'll just go here and at this particular point. And if I was to play from here. So that's all for today. We will see you tomorrow. So this is the point where I'm finishing off. And this is the portion of the story. So because I have made this particular selection at this particular point, I can now go to edit and then go to clip boundaries and again split the track. So when I come back and pick up my time shift tool, I can move this and let a little bit of music shine through right here. I would also like some music to start in the beginning before I actually start talking. So I can freely adjust my recording accordingly. So when I start playing from the beginning, Welcome to the Ring of Light. So I'm letting a little music play through before I start speaking. And then after I have introduced my show, I have also tried to bring in a little bit of music in between before I start telling the story. And then finally, I would like to kind of finish. As you would see now, this is the reason why I had chosen a little bit of extra music, which did not kind of uh, seem to be enough. But we can just copy and paste a little bit of music again here. So let me just do that. Um, I'm going to my select tool and I'll just copy a little portion. Taking the time shifts tool and bringing this music to be joined right here. So I have this little piece of music finishing here. So now I can freely adjust my music and have a little more control on how much gap I want between these particular pieces. So the idea here is that music will be louder in these gaps. It has to now slow down for which we are going to do something very soon. Then again in between the sections it should be loud and then finally before it is concluding it should be loud and then it should in the end taper off. So here what I propose to do is we can just just after I have spoken and the show is over, I will just select this little bit here, come to effects and choose fade out. So there is a graceful slowdown of music and the show will conclude right here. This would be just for maybe a second or so and the show will finish with a little music tapering down. So you can do this by going to effects and choosing fade out and just simply clicking on it. Now the only point that remains is how do we make sure that when I'm speaking the music becomes slow.
and when I am not speaking, the music remains loud. So we can do this quite quickly by going to effect and choosing auto duck. So what auto duck needs as it says is that the track that you want to control should be placed below the selected track. So this is an important condition for auto. In this particular case, the music track has to be on top of the track that you are trying to duck. So this is one very important point and you have to select this track. So I have double clicked and selected this track and I have made sure that the music track is above the track that is that we are trying to adjust to. So the effect will be that portions that are overlapping where I am speaking will become low and the portions where I am not speaking will remain as they are. So let us now go to effect and go to auto duck. Now you see something like this. Uh, this controls how much the volume is going to be. By default it is 12. When you open it for the first time it's going to be about 12. So if you lower this, the places where the vocals are, the music will become uh, you know, much less. So let us uh, do something like about um, 15. You can always experiment with this. Go ahead, try the first one out and then press undo and then come back and increase it by a bit. Let's try 14, maybe 15. So there we are. And then all we have to do is just simply go ahead and press OK. So this is almost like a magical tool. So what happens is all the places where you are not talking, uh, those places the music has become very, very low. And the places where you created gaps and when you are not talking, all those places have louder music. Now this did not work because we did not select this particular part. So let us go ahead and try this once again. Um, I'm going to select this track and maybe also select this track. You can always join the tracks together. Uh, if you are able to select both of them, say you have selected this and you can always come to edit and join. So tracks can also be joined together. So once we have selected the entire track, we can come to effect and then we can just simply come to auto duck and we have changed the settings to this setting to 15 and we are just going to go ahead and press ok so when done you will see that whenever you are talking the music is very low and when you are not talking the music becomes louder let's play and see how this works Hello and welcome to the Ring of Light, the show that brings you a new story to light up your day. Today's story is called The Happy Fish. One day, a Zen master and his friend were walking by a river. Look at the fish swimming about, said the master. They are really enjoying themselves, aren't they? Hey, you are not a fish, replied his friend. So you can see that we have, uh, you know, really created a reasonably good sounding podcast so quickly. Um, if you are not happy with the loudness of the music in the gaps, what you can do is you can just simply select this particular portion, go to effects and amplify and reduce the decibels by a few decibels. Maybe let us say, for example, minus three and then press OK. So the volume of this particular piece will become a little low. You can repeat the same for some of these portions as well. So you can control this quite substantially. Once you are done, all you need to do is file and export and just simply go ahead and export as mp3. So when you do this, you can just simply go ahead and save it and provide some details about who is the artist and track title if you are interested and just go ahead and press OK and within a few seconds depending upon how long your recording is it will then get converted into a single track mp3 file all mixed up together which you can then upload to 
a site like Spreaker and have your podcast up for other people to listen. So this is how you can very quickly create a podcast. There is a lot to learn in Audacity because um, uh, there are so many different kinds of options. But this is one way by which you can actually quite quickly create a podcast. And if you have not recorded your podcast inside Audacity, let us say, for example, you got a few interviews that you asked somebody to record themselves and send you by email, you can bring in all those tracks here, position them, and then export them all as an mp3 file using the exact same techniques that we have discussed in this particular tutorial. So I hope you found the tutorial useful. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching.